The folks at Google are always hard at work, providing us with amazing tools and services around the world. But they also have a mischievous and fun side to them. Over the years, fun and interesting Easter eggs were discovered in the search results. In this list, we're going to cover the top coolest Google search Easter eggs. Google in 1998. Typing in Google in 1998 shows a layout similar to the one that Google used for its search engine in 1998. The web pages lead to links about the company's history, which emphasizes how far Google has come. Beginning on the first page, visitors can see some of the early links describing the company's primary purpose. Continuing through the list of results, websites for Google's various divisions appear, offering more insight into the colossal conglomerate. The Loneliest Number Typing in the loneliest number into Google search comes up with the same answer as the 1969 song made famous by Three Dog Nine, one being the loneliest number. Anagram Searching for anagram in Google search results in Nagoram, which is in fact an anagram in itself. Ask Google the meaning of life, the universe, and everything. If you type this into Google, you'll be presented with the number 42, which is a tribute to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. WebDriver Torso If you type WebDriver Torso into Google search, red and blue rectangles are seen in the top left-hand corner of the page. WebDriver Torso is a mysterious YouTube channel which was created back in March 7, 2013 by Google themselves. Ever since Google created it, they would upload mostly 11 second videos every single minute and continue to do it to this day. As of August 30th, 2015, it has uploaded over 381,076 videos and over 70,000 people have subscribed to it. These videos are actually made to test YouTube quality. After creation, the videos are uploaded to YouTube. The uploaded videos are then compared to the videos before they were uploaded to see how much quality was lost. Recursion Searching for recursion includes a did you mean recursion link back to the same page. It's actually Google's idea of a funny private joke. The word recursion is a mathematical term that means the application of a function to its own values to generate an infinite sequence of values. If you were to click on Google's suggested word each time, you would therefore be creating an infinite loop of searches. Recursion is kind of like when you hold two mirrors side by side facing each other. They form an infinite visual field of reflections. Once in a blue moon. If you type once in a blue moon into the Google search bar, Google guides you to the mathematical equation for the occurrence of a blue moon. Unfortunately, the Easter egg has now been removed, but it proved to be a really good one. Bletchley Park. Searching for Bletchley Park in Google generates a bunch of codes that's different every time. It then resolves itself into the normal Google result for the site, written in a typeface reminiscent of early computers. The Easter egg is a reminder of Bletchley Park's central role in cracking the Enigma code, a history remembered in the recent film The Imitation Game, starring Benedict Cumberbatch as Alan Turing. Google has a fondness for Bletchley Park. It has provided funding for the purchase of key historical papers and helped preserve important parts of the site's history. The house was opened in 1938 as a code-breaking century where some of the brightest people in Britain removed and broke the German Enigma and Lorenz ciphers. Find Chuck Norris If you type Find Chuck Norris into Google, you'll be presented with this search result saying that Google won't search for Chuck Norris because it knows you don't find Chuck Norris, he finds you, with a suggestion to run before he finds you. Chuck Norris himself was flattered by these facts, but of course, he never took them too seriously. Festivus. Searching for Festivus will cause a Festivus poll to appear to the left of the search results 
The holiday, which originated on the show Seinfeld in 1997, generally takes place on December 23rd. In celebration of the holiday, when you search Festivus, Google displays the traditional Festivus poll as described on the show. Hanukkah. The now defunct Easter egg made a row of festive Hanukkah lights appear underneath the search box when a query for said festival was entered. Hanukkah is the festival of lights, the holiday that commemorates the rededication of the Jewish temple in Jerusalem in the 2nd century BCE. So Hanukkah has become especially popular because it falls close to Christmas time every year, it is actually considered to be a minor holiday on the Jewish calendar. Hodor. Saying or typing Hodor into the Google app for the Android causes Google to respond as Hodor would, speaking all in Hodor. Saying OK Google Hodor or tapping the search app microphone icon before pronouncing Hodor will deliver a direct answer box filled with the Game of Thrones character's most often repeated line which happens to be his name. If you're not a follower of Game of Thrones, Hodor is one of the good guys whose only speaking lines involve stating his name. Ask you. Just type in the word ask you makes the results screen tilt to the right slightly. Blink HTML. Typing in blink will cause the word blink to blink anywhere on the screen, even in cases that have nothing to do with coding. Do a barrel roll. Typing in do a barrel roll will rotate the results screen several times. This is a reference to Star Fox 64, quoted by Peppy Hare. Similarly, typing in Z or R twice produces the same effect. Conway's Game of Life If you type Conway's Game of Life into the Google search, several small bluish gray boxes moving through numerous patterns spreading over the page will appear to the right. Theoretically, it's played on an infinite two-dimensional grid of square cells with neither players nor winners or losers. Horton Conway devised one of the first computer simulations of life, allowing observation of various stages of evolution of cells as they interact with one another over time. Conway's game is quite simple. As a player, you simply create an initial configuration of cells, turn it on, watch it evolve with no further interaction. The simulation has been widely used in many areas of computer science research. Let it snow. Around the holiday season in 2011, typing in let it snow would conjure a snowfall, with flakes drifting down over the search results before the screen fogged or frosted up allowing you to write your very own Christmas message. That is, after pressing the blue search button that by now would have read defrost. Unfortunately, the Easter egg was removed and is now replaced with the video and song Let It Snow by Dean Martin. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. By typing in the phrase a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, you can get your search results in the familiar scrolling yellow text from the Star Wars movies. Those who want to add extra authenticity to the experience can click on the speaker icon to hear the Star Wars theme in all of its glory as your search results glide on past. You can also hit pause and scroll through the list at any time. It's noted though that this easter egg does not work in Mozilla Firefox. Nintendo Super Mario Bros. Clicking on the flashing question mark generates a coin and 200 points. After 100 coins, you get the 1-up sound. The search engine installed this special little easter egg to celebrate the classic games of the 30-year anniversary. Super Mario Bros. and Mario, who had been known as Jumpman before, came out in Japan on September 13, 1985. Zerg Rush Typing in Zerg Rush returns to the search page with zeros eating the search results. Click each zero a few times and it'll be removed. Now, this is a reference to an attack called the Zerg Line Rush in the legendary game by Blizzard called StarCraft. 
After all of the links have been destroyed, they form the letters GG, in reference to the standard game formality, which means good game. Pretty clever, huh? Atari Breakout Simply typing Atari Breakout into Google's image search gets rid of the usual cluster of high and low resolution images, and transforms all of the images into tiny bricks for you to destroy in a game that Google is calling Image Breakout. Originally created by Nolan Bushnell and Steve Bristow, Breakout debuted in 1976. It was based on a similar ball and paddle mechanic inspired by the legendary 1972 video game Pong. And like its predecessors, Breakout would go on to inspire countless ports, spin-offs, and sequels throughout the years. Google Pac-Man Due to overwhelming popularity, Google has announced that its interactive 30th anniversary Pac-Man doodle has earned a permanent spot on Google.com. From now on, whenever you need a Pac-Man fix, just search Google Pac-Man and you can easily enjoy the Search Giants version of this iconic video game at any time. You can control Pac-Man with the arrow keys.